Today's episode is brought to you by Skillshare. Head on over to Skillshare. -sh. That's S K L dot S H slash Modern Rogue Six. You got to spell it right, R O G U E, and you can get two months of top quality tutorials. And at the end of it, say backsies, thanks suckers, and run away laughing. Or you can sign up. You should probably do the latter or the former. It's fine as long as you sign up. Just sign up. Look, man, we're just gonna teach everybody how to bypass eight of the most popular locks in all of history. We're kind of experts at everything. What could go wrong? My methods have been called unorthodox, but I'm really excited because I'm super good at it. I'm sure you got the right tools for the job. What do you got? got all right, some uh, brass knuckles. Too, too soon. What, well, uh, what else? <laughs> some throwing stars. Okay, uh. I've got the hydrogen if you wanna. Uh, we're gonna get an adult. All right. This is the lockpicking lawyer, and I am really happy to be here at the Modern Rogue with Jason and Brian. Oh my God, I and, can't believe uh, it's happening! Holy I understand cow. you guys needed some help with bypassing. Yes, first of all, we want to learn how to bypass all of these locks, but most importantly, why have we bothered to put our dumb, stupid faces on the show ever if you could make a whole successful channel with nothing but your hands? Welcome to the glorious world of hand channels. <laughs> hand <Yay>! channels! <laughs> there is not a single lock on this table that should take you more than five seconds to open. What? Really? That's that's right, five seconds and most of them probably a little less. Okay, these look like, forgive me, garbage. Everybody always rolls their eyes at master locks, but when we get to these, like this looks to me to be what I would feel comfortable securing all of my valuables at storage with. You know, a few months ago on Amazon, if you searched high security padlock, this was Amazon's choice. <laughs> High security might have been an exaggeration. <laughs> All right, where do we want to begin here? <laughs> well, I'm going to show you guys some really effective tools, but probably the most effective one that we'll use today is a throwing <laughs> stick. I told you! Okay, Jason <laughs> told me to bring this out, but we actually can open one of these locks using this. This is a, a master lock, model M176. Super easy to open right now. It's locked. Normally, I would use a shim like this, uh -huh. reach in and open it up. But I think we can make do with this throwing star. Well, and keep in mind, this was, what were they, roofing Oh yeah, they were just little things. roofing tins. Yeah. These little discs that we cut into. A lot of the tools I'm gonna show you today can be improvised out of household items. Yes, that's, so, that's our MO. We're just gonna stick this in right in between the body of the lock and the wheel. Uh, now, now, do you want to try it with the throwing star? I do, actually. Okay. <laughs> Does it matter that it's the second one in? Okay, what I usually do is insert it at the top of the third wheel over yep. on the left side of that wheel. The top of the third wheel over? And why don't you use this one? I chose the okay. thinnest one we had so it would reach in the farthest. Okay. <gasps> I felt something click. So what you're going to do is you're going to push that all the way in. Uh huh. Once you get it all the way in, push it down on the shackle. <gasps> Push up with your throwing star like that. Oh, I felt And let thing. go of the shackle. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. oh, you didn't quite get it. Hold Try on. it again. All right, hold on. All right, what am I missing? Not everyone's a lock picking ninja. That's all. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Why don't, why don't we do it this way? Okay. I brought you guys some tool sets. Oh, heck yeah. You're going to have oh. some fun things inside, but you're going to want to use this one right now. Okay. Got it. Okay. Why don't you just stick it in right along here? Okay. Once it's in that position, yep. push down on the shackle, down with this, and it should open right up. You make it look easy. The it touch is, of the master's once hand. Once you get used to it, why don't you, you start working on one of these over here. Down. Here we go, this is a good beginning. Push it in, go Same up. Same place. <gasps> I did there the thing, go. I did the thing, I learned. I also bent this, like is this ruined now? No, no, bend it back. It's like, work I, for a I while. push it in first or I put the thing in first? It doesn't matter. Okay. I love the derisive tone where it's like, it doesn't matter. All locks are garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. It's that easy. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Kingsley, you <laughs> lock making chooches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put these aside. We're done with these. Okay. Oh. You made me look capable at let's, something. Let's go over here. If you go on Amazon and you searched for a keyed gym locker lock, this is what Amazon recommended. Uh-huh. Now you guys are gonna reach into your kits and you're gonna pull out a tool that looks like this. All right, something that looks like a crazy key. Got it. You should have one with four small teeth on it. Is it? Four small teeth, There Got you it. go. Okay. Okay, now these are really easy to bypass. You insert this just like a key. You lift up on all the pins and then you turn. Now the only okay. trick here is to insert it the correct depth. Oh, And I okay. will put my finger just about here to make sure I don't over insert it. Okay. Then just push it in, lift up, turn. Lift up. 
Got it. This is <laughs> I'm not quite there. Well, I haven't tested your tools, so do you want me to see, make sure that one actually sure, works first? Sure, me, go ahead. <laughs> okay, we're gonna insert it just like that. Mm -hmm. Lift up. Wow, okay. Yes, I've done this a couple this. times. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is this tool called? This is called a comb pick. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God, that's two down. I can't believe it. That's horrifying. <laughs> this is, wow, okay. okay. Let me show you guys why that works. If you had cut the front of the lock off, this is what you would see. There's a bunch of pin stacks that look just like this. When you insert a key, normally you take it to that level and it would turn. And there would be four or five or six or however many pins there are. Exactly. All of different All behind heights. it. So this takes advantage of a flaw in manufacture where the manufacturer left too much space above the shear line. So you can lift everything, the key pin and the driver pin above the shear line, and then nothing stops the plug from turning. That's brilliant. We have another lock here. This one is subject to the exact same problem. This is a U-Haul lock actually made by Abus. This one's a little bit harder to put in. Is it and five same or four? sort of thing. You're gonna need to use this tool. Okay. It's a little bit harder to insert. You gotta gotta jiggle it into place. Okay. But once you get it into place, lift up, turn, it's the exact same thing. I can't believe that such a simple tool is that powerful. All right, so you you worm your way in. No, you got it too far. Okay. You gotta pull it out All a right. little bit. So in this case, it feels like it's stuck. Do I it's stuck risk in between the pins? Okay. But getting it out is just a matter of there we go. That's about the right depth. Got it. So okay. now you just need to lift that up. Oh, I accidentally pushed it in just a touch. There it is. You can actually feel it on the pins. Yep. If you have to push hard, you're doing it wrong. Oh, I did the thing! <laughs> now, how much of this do you need to really feel what's going on in the lock? Not a lot. If you're forcing it, you're doing it wrong. But as long as it goes easily into position, then it should be very fast and easy. It seems like the kind of thing that beginning by understanding the exact structure of everything is integral because once you understand what everything looks like on the inside, then all of a sudden it's not even a amount of finesse. It's fairly obvious where different stuff goes. <laughs> <laughs> understanding what's inside of each of these locks is absolutely crucial. Let's push all of these aside and all this trash, <laughs> trash locks. Boo, get out of here. We're gonna move on to these. These I told you, Amazon's choice for a high security padlock. At least it was. That changed a couple days after your video I came out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my solution to this, I would look at this and go, well, shotgun. It's beefy. It's a nice thick steel body, thick shackle, got a five pin core, but a tool like this. <laughs> a tool like this, and he holds up a hook. It's just yeah. a hook. This is just called a driver, but the problem here is that. You have a locking mechanism that holds the shackle closed. Mm -hmm. Then you have your core, but there's no barrier in between the two. So I can reach all the way through the core and directly operate that locking mechanism without the key moving. So, oh, oh, oh. that was nothing. <laughs> there should be some sort of shielding in the back, but they didn't put that in this lock. Can I so try it? Is this a hard do. one or? We push this, that little hook down away from the pins. Yeah. Once it hits the back, just wiggle it a little bit. You'll hear it pop into place. Once it's in place, just turn it like a <laughs> You know, I'm getting really nervous, but then I'm reminded that you're the only person on earth who knows how to do this. There yeah. are no, no bad like, people know how to well, do this. It's not like we're telling it me on Me and internet. everyone who watches my channel. Uh, Never heard of it. I made it all the way down. Okay. How hard should I, no, no, do I go up? No, you're turning too hard. It's a, okay. again one of those things that if you're pushing hard, you're not doing it right. So there, I hit I the think, thing. I think you're there. Now just turn. Mm. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's crazy. Are they fixing this? What is the lag cycle between putting out publicly an exploit and then them fixing it? I don't believe they have fixed it. I bought these two locks roughly eight months apart from each other, nope. and they both have the same issue. <laughs> All the way that, down, and you'll feel it stop. And now pop. wiggle it around a little bit until it pops just an eighth ah. of an inch farther. Okay. Okay. Now turn. No. That mental map of what all the internals look like is so important. It absolutely is. You're mm. at too much of an angle. When you're inserting oh, uh, this, okay. 
Keep that hook touching the bottom of the keyway. Mm -hmm. All the way back, it stops. Yeah. Now, see, I'm still perfectly straight. Yeah. I'm just going to twist a little bit and shove in. Okay. That was it. It's in position oh, now. okay. It really is one of those almost universally less is more. You, you don't want to overdo if, it. If you're fighting it, there's a problem. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, oh that's it, great. It's so satisfying it when good, it clicks. Right? It's, so, it's so good. <laughs> the next bypass I'm going to show you is probably the most common bypass out there. We're going to show it on these. <laughs> it's a shotgun. <laughs> I told you again. And it's who's called right? shimming the locking lugs. Years and years ago, we learned about shims. We learned how we could make them out of soda cans. But yep. then I started seeing a bunch of locks that advertise themselves as unshimmable. Number one, I assume they're probably not actually unshimmable. But what is it they do on a theoretically unshimmable lock? OK, so on the inside of here, you can see small ball bearings. Oh, yes. And they fit into these half moon shaped cutouts. Yes. They will not retract no matter how hard you push on them. That's an unshimmable lock. A lot of people will make these shims out of soda cans or thin pieces of shim stock. The commercial ones you can buy that are made out of tempered steel are going to be a lot more effective. I did notice that once you make one from a soda can, they're kind of one-use operations. They're That's pretty exactly mangled. Right. That's exactly right. I'm always afraid of slicing up my fingers and trying to use something like that. Now, using these is really easy. We just put them right here and just wiggle it down. Once it's all the way down, you don't need to do anything else. Same thing, wiggle it down. Once those two shims are in position, the <laughs> shackle opens right up. So nowadays, yeah. I assume that both sides need to be shimmed because there was a hot minute 10 years ago where you really only needed it on one side. Some really cheap locks will only have one, one locking lock on one side. So this one, you can tell, is all the way in. This other one is having a hard time. So Let's just wiggle it down. Just work our way down. Oh, there it is. There you go. <laughs> it popped on its own. Yep. And you'll find a lot of locks that are susceptible to this. Push it down, kind of off center, off to the side. There you go. And now twist it. Here's something to try. When you've got it like this, mm -hmm. use fingers on both sides and just wiggle it down like oh, that. Oh, OK. And that's not going down. So we're going to do the technique Brian was talking about, off to the side, Oh. and then twist oh, it over. Oh, that much to the side. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. OK. There you go. Yeah. OK, so you just get them both down like that, get them flush with the casing, and then you got it. <laughs> oh, this is terrifying and awesome. I would imagine shimming is a little more difficult if it's an old rusted one that's been around or whatever. Do you spray lubrication on there? You can, absolutely. I keep some spray oil. For, for doing things like this. But for the most part, no, you just, as long as you've got the clearance, you can push it down in there. That's amazing. Okay, we're gonna do these next. What are, I don't believe I've ever seen this type yeah, of lock. I don't even know that? what they're these called. These are called shutter locks or sliding bolt padlock. They're actually pretty common. This particular master lock one is sold for securing trailer couplers. This is an Avis one, Casp. This one's sold in the UK. But they all have the exact same mechanism in it. If you guys can take out this tool right here, OK, a little stabby yep. shiv. We're just going to call that the knife. We name our knives here <laughs> traditionally, but that's fine. <laughs> stabby shiv. Now, we have the bar here, the shackle. And then there's a locking lug that comes up and holds it in place so it can't pull out of the lock. OK, so there's a thing that is currently up that we want to have be down. Exactly, Got exactly. It. And we're essentially taking advantage of the exact same flaw that was in this lock. There's no shielding in between the core and the locking you mechanism. You can bypass the entire lock itself. So we're just going to reach all the way through. I'm going to stab into that locking lug so I got a good grip on it. The stabbing gives me purchase on it. And just pull it down. Why don't you start on this one? Okay, this one's right. got a, a more open keyway. All the way in. Mm -hmm. I'm at the back. I feel it touching it. Stab in. I'm going to push then... in hard enough that it has purchase. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, now, I now you're it. blocking that from opening. <laughs> oh, got it. You Don't be it? afraid to stab pretty hard into okay, it. Okay, here, I'll... So for this one, it feels like it matters. <gasps> there you go. It matters that the end is stabby. You've got to stabby. grab onto it. You've got to put a little dimple in that so you can pull it down. Oh, that's remarkable. Otherwise, it just slides on the surface. Yeah, and you can feel it slide when you're doing it wrong. Yep. Yeah, wow! Well, I'll do this all day. That's awesome. Okay, so these are a little bit harder because the keyways are a little tighter, but we can do the exact same thing. We're just going to reach in the exact same way, stab into the back there, 
and just kind of pulling down, um, like angling it a little bit? Well, I am pushing like this, okay. but I'm using the end of the core there as a lever point or as the fulcrum yeah. that gives me a lot of leverage to, to push down on that. If you picture this as a textured rod, your job is to reach in with a fingernail, just get a fingernail in there enough that you could drag it down. That's right? exactly right. Okay, there we go. Oh, I just blocked it from doing the thing. There it is. There you oh, go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Slide it all the way in. Like so? Yep. Now push pretty hard and then There you go. You got it. I think there should be a rule that if even I am able to pick your lock, your CEO is immediately fired. <laughs> it's called the Murphy Protocol. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now this is probably the hardest one to bypass of the group here because it's a little bit difficult to finagle this into position. But essentially we have a slightly different tool but the same exploit that we used on here. I just now realized that we haven't even done traditional lock picking yet. Every single one of these, we skip the part because traditionally you individually manipulate each pin and then you get to the place where the cylinder turns. We haven't done that once. Everything has just why been like bad design. Why would we do it when it's this easy? We don't have any shielding between the core and the locking mechanism, so we can reach all the way in there, put this into the locking mechanism and turn it just like the key would. And you said this one's tougher because just what, uh, the it's way it's designed? It's a little designed? bit harder to finagle the there we go, to finagle this into position, but once you have it there. Clearly, very difficult. Yeah, oh, as my he gosh. unlocks it before he finishes <laughs> his sentence. It took him almost four seconds. That, like that goes away from the pins. Got exactly. it. Exactly. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's the first stop. Yeah, I'm gonna work just... my way a little bit farther in. It's very tempting to overcorrect, but instead, oh, I did feel a little progress there. And I guess there's no way to know for a fact that you're at the right spot. You'll huh. feel it pop into position. All right, let me try again from the top, okay. Does that help sometimes to back up and start again? Sometimes it helps. So it's just gonna go straight in. Once it reaches the back, I'm just gonna twist and push down, and I just felt it. Did you see it pop in I another did, maybe eighth of an inch? It was, yeah. Got it, okay. So hit, it is like a bit, it's a bit of hitting the first mini boss. But you don't want to push too hard. You push and twist back and forth. There it is. Oh, there you there go. You got it. Come on, baby. Yeah! yeah. Got it. <laughs> yes! Okay, everyone get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the first time I've ever picked locks. You're crushing it, man. Okay, so that hook is going to go away from the pins. Oh, okay. There so we go. Yep. Just like so. Okay. Yep, there you go. And then. Now push and, and just wiggle back and forth until you feel it pop down. Oh, I think you got it. Now twist. Oh my God! <laughs> got it. it really requires less finesse than you would think. Yeah. But also less force than you would think. And it all boils down to that mental map. If you understand yeah. what's inside. You have to know where you're going. And yeah. once you know where you're going, you can kind of drive that tool into position. These all look scary over here. Okay, what's going on? These actually are a little bit scary. Oh, this these is my favorite. These are the locking portions of a locking gun rack that you would see in a police cruiser or in an arms room. So like in the back, you see a shotgun that's there. Yep, this is what you need use to grab on a shotgun. Ready. This is what you use on an AR-15. I'm dreadfully terrified that you're about to explain to us that this is shockingly easy to open. Unfortunately, it is. And it's always even worse when you see easy exploits on expensive locks. Now we did an episode where we covered how to use a shim on handcuffs and oh, when it's, it's open. Looks like a similar mechanism. Oh my God, you could just straight up shim this, can't you? Absolutely, you can. can That's one ninja star. exploit. I don't know about the ninja star, but this tool that you have right here, or oh. probably a couple of these lock picks would work as well. You can just shove that right down in. So the locking mechanism is nothing but a tooth on a series of other teeth. And if you just slide in, it's just like the shimming we did. Yep. Now, this one is the one that usually secures an AR-15. That's the one. This is the one for the shotgun. That is. Now, the shimming is not gonna work on this shotgun lock. You're gonna find this interesting. That's locked right now. You can feel it. I'm waiting for some kind of magical, super high-tech, mission impossible tool. This is a magnet. <laughs> Try to open it now. Dang, oh, no, 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 yeah. no, no, don't say that. Yeah. That's... Wow. Okay, how about this one? Is it locked? Yes, very, uh, well, yes. Yes, it's locked. How about now? Oh, this isn't, is twice as easy? You see the tooth is up, and it's all the way in, and then, 
we're pretty good with magnets. This is two left-handed gloves. But I think you're a little better. <laughs> this is... It's frightening to see things like this because oh, this could have been designed around so easily. Man, I have so many questions about why people don't update their locks fast enough, but I think all of it boils down to locks only keep out honest people. That's right. They keep honest people honest, and that's about it. <sighs> all right. Well, if honest people want to follow all of your adventures, I assume they go to, what, youtube.com slash lockpickinglawyer? That's exactly right. I have over 950 videos there showing exploits like this. I think everyone will find it really interesting. And you cover locks from all over the world. So your scope is broad and your skill is deep. Well, <laughs> your scope is thank broad you. and your skill is deep. I've never been described that way, but I will in the future. Oh my god. This is insane. All right, I'm going to take all the I'm going to I'm going to go teach my kids how to Absolutely. <laughs> take your tools with you. I think on behalf of all of us, I just want to say to YouTube, good effort. Nice try. Really? You giving them a that or that'll do pig? Uh, I mean, I'm giving them a participation ribbon. That's what oh, I'm giving. Okay. That, yeah. That's a fine try. Mm -hmm. However, the blue ribbon goes, of course, to the top quality curated tutorials over at Skillshare. It's amazing. I'm actually uh, taking some courses on uh, creative writing because it's kind of my jam. And so they have a great community there and creative writing videos that you can learn from, all curated and way better than the trash that you find elsewhere on the internet. <laughs> We're not looking at you directly, YouTube. They're there's some good stuff out there. You're There's great. just a lot of garbage. There's Sometimes the algorithm rewards not the best quality tutorial and instead rewards whatever keeps you there sitting there clicking on the next video longest. Not Skillshare though, they only have one motivation and that is to make you an expert in top quality di disciplines. Everything from graphic design to programming. I'm gonna take classes on productivity. Really? Yeah, because I'm clearly not doing enough projects. Yeah, I don't think that's the lesson you're supposed to take away from what's going on in your life. All of a sudden, everything ends. <laughs> like, I have achieved productivity bliss. Here's the important part. SKL.SH forward slash Modern Rogue 6, and you get two free months of all of it. Oh, you have a pay. It's less than 10 bucks a month, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't take advantage of their largesse and have all you, I used largesse in a sentence. I don't think wow. I've ever done that. Sign up, take two months of all you can eat courses. SKL.SH slash Modern Rogue 6. Largesse. He learned that on Skillshare, probably. Does that mean we're good to go? Uh, yeah, the sync, the audio, and the that was, come on, get with the program. <laughs> he's, he's a vicious taskmaster. Oh, gosh. <laughs>